So today I'm going to do bouncing stuff. Starting from 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus say all the way to plus 50. And then plus say all the way to maybe 100. So 96, 97, 98, 99, and finally 100. So, this seems like a baffling mathematics problem. But we, what we could do is pair up the first number with the last number. Then we could go and pair the second to last number with the second number. And then we can go and pair the third to last number with the third number. And then we can pair the fourth to last number with the fourth number. The 4 plus 97. And the fifth the last number with the fifth number so 5 plus 96 all the way until you have grouped up all the numbers into pairs by then you should have uh, had 50 pairs so uh, uh, you will notice that the sum of each pair will become 101 each and every time you add uh, each pair so uh, using that inference, we uh, using all that inference, we can make the uh, the uh, equation n times n plus one over two. Now let's see the proof for this equation. One plus two plus three uh, plus let's say all the way to some number n. Now if you took the first number and paired it up to the uh, last number, you would see 1 plus n, 2 plus n minus 1, 3 plus n minus 2, and so on. And you will notice that the, uh, it, the sum of each pair is always going to be one larger than the, uh, uh, than the greatest number in the sequence. Uh, and that's where the n plus 1 comes from. Now, uh, each pair requires two numbers. So, uh, n uh, both account for the greatest number and the number of numbers. So each uh, uh, pair has two numbers. So that's where the n over 2 comes from. So mm, with that, that is the Gaussian sum. But uh, for uh, we can test this out first. Uh, let's put 100 times uh, 100 plus 1 is 101 over 2. So that's going to be 50 uh, times uh, 101, which is 5,050. Thank you. Bye.